it's Sarah and I have a milk glass haul today I went out this is actually after a couple days the other day I went down to my brother's and went to a place in Ventnor a thrift store and got these pieces these this is very cool this this has the um, grape the grapes and the leaves and it's real thick and I just loved it and I got that and I got this little one which um, I saw on eBay last night I did find these um, but it does come with a lid so I don't have the lid for it but I want to say because it was a thrift store these were a little more because good goodwill is like really good like I got stuff today that was really cheap so I mean I don't even I you know I should remember these were um, I want to say at least three dollars each and then I also got this piece there this is my first Fenton um, I don't know what this is called, the, the lace or whatever, but I couldn't resist it, and it was $10. It was $10 at the, uh, thrift store. Um, but it was so beautiful, you know, I just really thought it was beautiful, so, um, I did get that. Yeah, I want to say, and there were two other pieces that I kind of wish I'd gotten, because I saw them on, um, you, on, um, eBay last night, too. Um, and I don't know. I just didn't. I don't get everything all the time. Then this one was really good. This was a different thrift store that I went to today. Eat, all these were $3. And I mean, I know the bud vase. I, I, this is my first real bud vase. I, and I had one that my, was my mom's from years ago. So that one, I only have three total now, but this is cool. This is like, um, it's definitely a quilt pattern or something like that. And I love that. This was super cool. It's Avon Charisma Foaming Bath Oil, it says. Avon Products. There's no date, but it's New York, New York. This is milk glass. And it's a woman with like a muff. Remember muffs? I love this. It's stinky. I tried to open. There's nothing in it, but it's still stinky inside. I cleaned it up and this comes off and then there's like you could open it to get the bath stuff out and this isn't glass it's just plastic but at least she has her lid I love it that was three dollars had to get that I was soup to find that that is so cool and then this one is was three dollars and this is the leaves uh, and the grapes again so I love that so that was awesome that was nine dollars and that was a thrift store so that's not bad for a thrift store because you can pay you know usually i think i want to say this was four and this was three that's actually that's what i think that was and this was 10 yeah i spent 17 yesterday or uh, the other day and then i went to goodwill actually i went to goodwill this i got the other day all by itself and this was three dollars and this is the fenton i have a vase that matches this let me pull this over this is the hobnail and this is just a short vase so i got that and then these three i was so excited to see these this was actually my first picture i ever saw so i grabbed that and i love that it was little too so that was awesome i got that and then this i'm pretty sure needs a lid so i'm finding these um what are these called again oh not a carafe they they had a, on i was looking on ebay and they had a lot of these this has like an eagle and this so i i don't know it might be that brody company but I'm pretty sure it needs a lid but I loved it and these were all that was 150 150 and two so I'm so excited this is uh, this is definitely Brody and this is a big bud vase so now that makes my three bud vases and my battery's dying but let's swing over here I don't know this was three dollars at a thrift store I love it but I have never seen this pattern before so I'm gonna look for this pattern I don't know what pattern it is if you guys know let me know but it's in gorgeous condition and I'm gonna come back and show you where I'm gonna be displaying these I'm gonna put them in a different bookcase so I'll come back and show you that all right I'm back and I'm up in my room this is actually a bookcase 
that I had all my books in when I went to school and like other knick-knacky stuff. But I thought, wow, that's exactly where milk glass needs to be. And look how it shines in there. I was, because I had some in my craft room and some, it was just not good. And then over here is a desk that I used for school as well that was collecting dust. And I put some of my milk glass on there. And I can see milk glass getting all around my room. But anyway, let me just show you. I want to get, um, if I get a lamp or anything, it's going on top of that. And then I'm willing to move anything out of the way uh, and put milk glass. But yeah, look, it looks so pretty. Um, I found out, I've been researching, and I'm finding out that a lot of the glass I thought was Westmoreland is actually Anchor Hocking. Um, and some of the pieces, like this piece I thought was Westmoreland, is Imperial. So I'm, f I'm figuring some stuff out. A lot of this is Anchor Hocking, Anchor Hocking. These are both Anchor Hocking. I haven't figured out this dogwood pattern yet. I'm going to probably anchor hawking but for the most part what I think it is if it's not um, the really <clears throat> white white milk milky milk glass if it's got a translucence to it it's not necessarily um, it's probably anchor hawking I'm finding anchor hawking is like this piece back here I don't I thought this was Westmoreland but I'm pretty sure like I just got this one but look I'm gonna come over to my iPad I had, I did a little research and kind of, like this quilt, I have that, and that's Imperial, which I didn't know what it was, so that was good, but see, this is Imperial, I have that big compote, compote, is that what they call them, and that's Imperial, oh, I want them, but I'm not getting them, <laughs> um, I have this, this is Westmoreland, that little uh, cruet, I think they call them, and I don't have the lid, but that's Westmoreland, and these, I have these quilted candlesticks, and they're Westmoreland. Um, that's this, I have that, that's Westmoreland. See this, Anchor Hocking. See, I thought it was um, Westmoreland because of the grapes and the leaves, but it's got, it's a light translucent glass, so I think that's more Anchor Hocking. That's what I'm finding. A lot of the stuff that I thought was, see this is Anchor Hocking, these vases, okay, let me go over here for a minute. These vases, I thought, because they were hobnail, they were um, Fenton, and they're not. This is called hobnail and bars. See the bars on the side? And that's uh, anchor hocking. So the Fenton hobnail is this. I only have one piece of that, and there's no bars on that. That's just hobnail all the way around, and the glass is like white, really rich, creamy white, like not translucent it's um opaque white so that i was tr i thought these were fenton this one too this is the um hobnail and bars and that's just a small like planter anchor hawking this is fenton obviously i mean you can definitely tell the fenton when you if you you know if you try it's it stands out it's definitely brighter and whiter and has a lot of times it has that fluted top um, so what else? These are, this is Anchor Hocking. This one, I know a lot of people have that. Pretty sure this is Anchor, no, this is Brody. I have a couple pieces of Brody. And, uh, what else? So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to look for this one again. Because this is the, uh, it's called a, a snack plate and, and cup. But I think that's Imperial. I thought that was Westmoreland. I thought all oh, this was Westmoreland. And I haven't researched this one yet. This one has like an eagle on it. I want to find out where that one's from. I know it needs a lid. And this is L.E. Smith. I found that one. That's called um, Moon and Stars or something like that. I love it. Three bucks. But that's L.E. Smith. So I'm going to do a little more research. And I'll let you guys know what I find out. But I'm really happy with my new storage area. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.